January 7, 2019. Manila, Philippines, according to the Department of Information and Communications Technology, the Philippines needs at least 50,000 additional cell towers in operation to substantially improve telecommunications service delivery, DICT. Acting Secretary of the Dictelaseo Rio Jr. stated his agency has taken the initiative to immediately sign agreements with tower providers to avoid bureaucratic delays in the cell site installation. We need at least 50,000 additional towers in the Philippines. We can accommodate so many tower companies as the industry can accommodate. We are saying that we must let the market decide on how many towers can be put up in the country, Rio said in a press conference on Thursday, during the signing of the Memorandums of Understanding, MOS, with IHS Towers of Nigeria and Adotco Group to provide towers that may be leased to telco firms. Currently, there is so much red tape. Globe and Smart are also complaining that there are 25 permits they need to be granted to them. There is also the problem of corruption, under the table deals. This one specifically what these MOs will address, he added. In the Philippines, we need at least 50,000 more towers. We have the capacity to accept as many tower firms as the industry allows. We're suggesting that the market should decide how many towers may be built in the country, Rio stated at a news conference on Thursday, following the signing of MOS with Ison Tower Limited based in Singapore and Adotco Group to offer towers that may be leased to telecommunication companies. Right now, there is a lot of red tapes. Globe and Smart have also expressed their dissatisfaction with the 25 permits that they require. There's also the issue of corruption, which includes backroom agreements. This is precisely what these memorandums of understanding will address, he continued. The DICT official also emphasized that common tower suppliers will be able to assist carriers in reducing the cost of constructing their own communication infrastructure. So, we have the common towers that can fix the situation here. Additionally, the fact that further investments will be coming in will be a tremendous assist. According to Rio, market forces will drive this. Should the common tower suppliers get a contract with any of the telecommunication operators, the DICT will assist them in obtaining licenses, right-of-way, and other government support for infrastructure. Suresh Sidhu, the chief executive officer of Adotco Group, has pledged to build at least 10,000 towers because believes that the DICT's common tower strategy would ensure that telecommunication services are expanded at a lesser cost to customers. It's an incredible potential from the towers because you get the first benefit for consumers, which is covered. The second advantage for operators is decreased costs. In fact, you receive the country's third benefit, which is communal benefits. According to SIDU, this effort will benefit telecommunication providers and the communities we will be serving. On Friday, the DICT will sign a new Memorandum of Understanding with China Energy Engineering Group. The department inked agreements with local business ISOC Infrastructures Incorporated and Singapore's ISIN ECP Tower Private Limited in December 2019. ISOC Infrastructures has suggested a budget of PHP 100 billion for the construction of 25,000 towers over the next seven years, with PHP 20 billion committed in the first three years. For the Common Tower Project, the corporation chose OCK Vietnam Private Limited as a technical partner. ISIN, for its part, has pledged to build up to 15,000 towers over the next five to seven years, at a cost of up to 800 million US dollars. The DICT intends to create a single tower policy that would allow additional tower businesses to develop and deploy cell sites and other facilities that will be leased to telecom companies, who will be able to use them to improve service delivery. Stakeholders in the business believe that enabling additional providers to enter the market will increase competition, benefiting customers through enhanced communication services. With 16,000 cell sites for every 67 million internet users, the Philippines has Asia's lowest cell site density. One of the hurdles to economical and consistently dependable internet services in the nation has been highlighted as a shortage of mobile towers. May 19, 2021 DIC Philippines Malls Investments in Common Towers The Philippines Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, intends to invest in the construction of shared tower infrastructure in order to accelerate the implementation of internet services and expand mobile services to underserved regions. According to local press sources, the DICT is pushing for the building of independent cell towers, 
which will be built and maintained by third-party corporations and leased by a variety of telecommunications operators. The DICT Undersecretary for Digital Philippines, Emmanuel Ray Kaintik, said the agency is working with Congress on legislation that will allow the DICT to use untapped funds from the Spectrum users' fee, which were previously set aside for the deployment of free Wi-Fi in public places, to build common infrastructure in commercially unviable areas. To address permitting delays in continuing fiber-optic network construction, we are writing a new joint memorandum circular to expedite the permission procedure, Kaintik is quoted as saying. Broadband services require fiber networks to be active. As of November last year, the National Telecommunications Commission said that the country has 22,405 towers. Globe Telecom Incorporated has 10,270 towers, Smart Communications Incorporated has 10,069 towers, and Dito Telecommunity Corporation has 2,066 towers, according to the total. Former DICT officer in charge Eliseo Rio indicated in another report that the government aims to build 50,000 towers in the next five years. Meanwhile, Globe Telecom, the Philippines' largest telecommunications company, announced the completion of 318 new cell towers in critical places around the nation, as well as the extension of at least 4,210 sites and the installation of 274,000 high-speed lines.